Hello everybody, Sergeant Soldier and we're back with Brick and Rust. And today we are on the Rusticity Battlefield server. And we're going to be testing the server restart dupe bug. And I have permission from the owner to go ahead and restart this server as soon as I'm ready to. And we'll get to that in one minute. First I'm going to show you the bodies. On Kimbo's body, who is a, a member of the other server, so this isn't affecting him at all. Uh, this is his sleeper. We have all these items. I'm testing guns, resources, grenades, a pump jack, C4, syringes, uh, and then one of the attachments. Pretty, pretty important stuff to have duplicated. And then I have Kimbo's dead body here next to it with pretty much the same stuff, except this one has a quarry, uh, a bolt action, and, and whatnot. So, real quick, I'm going to dump all the items that I picked off of uh, Kimbo's sleeper. With this server, things are, are a little weird because sometimes the stuff doesn't move out of your inventory until you move something. Not really quite sure what that's about. But I was able to reproduce this on the other Rusticity server, but because that server has donators and whatnot and is actually a main server, I didn't want to prematurely restart it. I was able to get it to work during a uh, tri-daily restart. So essentially what's going to happen is I'm going to restart the server or if you're on a vanilla server or a community server that doesn't restart as often, supposedly these same results can be reproduced if you DDoS and cross the server to crash. No guarantee that it'll come up right away of course, but from what I've been told, it's fairly easy to do that. I am not in any way, shape or form condoning DDoSing any server, I'm just saying that, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just saying that for those that like to cheat and DDoS servers, they will probably end up doing this. So hopefully we can get this fixed as soon as possible. Now, I don't know the amount of time necessary for these items to sit in the bodies. I know this dead body will probably uh, sit here for a couple more minutes. And uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I know it'll eventually despawn. I want to try to get this to time it before it despawns. From what I remember, dead bodies will either A, disappear, or B, um not be lootable upon the restart so I just wanted to make sure I tested it with the dead body just to be as thorough as possible so I'm gonna give this another minute or two I'm gonna cut out and we'll be right back all right everybody that's about a good amount of time so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to loot these bodies and of course because I'm looting them I'm not gonna be able to remember what was on each body so hopefully you guys will be able to keep track or we'll, uh, we'll d definitely see it during the, uh, the editing phase but hopefully, if this works correctly, we'll be able to see what was on the body when we loot it after the restart. So let's get rid of all this stuff. Supposedly, the inventory for the bodies will have saved, and upon the restart, it'll roll back, hopefully far enough so that we'll be able to uh, duplicate the items. So there we go. All right. Now we have two empty bodies, Kimbo Sleeper and Kimbo Dead Body. My inventory is full of all that stuff that I threw on there, and now we restart. So... I guess we'll be right back. 60 seconds. All right, let's wait it out. As you can see, I'm not going to cut this part out. I'm going to leave it so that you cannot, or that you see that I'm not adding these items back to the body or duplicating them in any way. Um, not saying that I would, but, you know, I want to make sure that this test is thorough as possible. And I want to make sure that people aren't thinking, oh, well, you know, you just put the items back on there to make it for a good video. No. We're waiting this, we're waiting for this to clock all the way down or time all the way out. 35, 30 seconds left. So I did this on the main Rusticity server at its tri-daily restart, and it worked. It worked with all the resources, it worked with C4, it worked with guns. Um, so I don't remember the amount of time that it was for it to for it to duplicate. I, I don't know when the bodies save what's on their inventory, but hopefully what we had here was enough time and we'll just kind of see how it goes. So, five seconds, we will be right back. Okay, so for those of you that were on the server at the time of the restart, I apologize, but I did have permission from the server owner to do this, so be nice. I had permission. All right. It's going really quick now, and we're up. The dead body despawned, no surprise. We go to Kimbo's sleeper, and look at that. All the items are duplicated. So one thing that I noticed, however, is when you move the items, the person that duplicated it, uh, if you notice, I had 3,000 high quality ore here, 
and then when I moved it from that body to this body, it split it. So let's do uh, the 8,000 sulfur. I moved the 4,000 sulfur to my inventory, and I still have the 4,000. However, if you have a third person that is not the sleeper, a third person loot the sleeper's body, that will allow you to have those resources and whatnot. I don't know if then those two people can combine the resources together. I don't have a third person to test this with. However, I do know that the the actual dupe was successful. The uh, It looked like the single item... Whoa. That's weird. That's really weird. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, so that's uh, that's pretty much it for this bug. There are some kinks to work out with it. I don't want to go in too much detail about, you know, the different things you can do with it. But uh, there's one thing that I'm going to test for a different video to see if it's possible. And uh, I'll probably end up doing that with Alpha Cry later on tonight. So anyway, if, uh, if you really want this to get fixed, we need to make sure this gets spread around so that the developers actually see this as an issue. Uh, using the in-game bug reporting, their website, Reddit, that doesn't always work for these kind of bugs. It's been reported a lot and it still happens. So if we get a lot of people that support this fix, maybe we can get enough attention brought to it. Otherwise, in the past, the only way to get these kind of things fixed is if a lot of people use it and abuse it, and then it spawns a forced fix on it. So that I don't want people to abuse this. That's not the intent. The intent is to get it fixed, but if getting it fixed means that people are going to abuse it, in the long run, it's better for the game. So anyway, that's it for this episode of Brick and Rust. We're doing this sleeping body duplication bug. And we'll see you in the next Brick and Rust video. Bye-bye. Okay, real quick. I was cleaning up Kimbo's sleeping body. I killed him and destroyed his body. And I was actually able to get some of the resources to duplicate. As you can see here, I now have two grenades. I have 12,000 sulfur powder, which before I had 8,000. Uh, I don't remember what some of the other resources were. I have two of these um, hollow sites. Whereas before I only had one. So some of the things are able to be duplicated by breaking the body. I think I even had uh, less medical syringes in this too. I, I can't remember. But it seems breaking the body was able to allow you to loot some of the stuff as the person that duplicated it. Some of the things you couldn't. So I just wanted to make sure that that was in there because I found that after I stopped the recording. So anyway, bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching Breaking Rust, a series dedicated to exposing bugs, glitches, and exploits in the game of Rust. The idea is to get these videos into the hands of game developers as soon as possible, so please share this video to help achieve that. If you know of any bugs you'd like to have featured in an episode, please let me know in the comments below.